So, interesting enough, this uh, event of Yetziat Mitzrayim, you know, we all know the story that uh, everybody is busy in packing. They had a, I don't know, you see, that's the problem, by the way. They should have a bug out bag, you know, like uh, getting ready to go. But they had to do everything quickly, and that's the problem from that, because because of that, we eat, uh, we eat matzah on Pesach. We could have eaten bread if they had a bug out bag. They would have been ready. Everybody is ready and going. And what does Moshe Rabbeinu do? Moshe Rabbeinu goes to look for the bones of, of Yosef. The, I think in Mishle, the Pasuk says, refers to him as Chacham Lev. Chacham Lev is Moshe Rabbeinu. And why Chacham Lev? It's a tremendous title. Gam Chacham, ve Gam Lev. Heart and, 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 and intellect are, are all aligned. Why is that? Because he went to take uh, Yosef's bones. The question is why why did he have to do that? And we know that I mean he could have left it for the for the descendants of, of Yosef. You know, Ephraim and Menashe became huge tribes. I mean, excuse me guys, you know, that was your grandfather. Go get to, go get his bones. Why are you leaving him here as a lawyer fair? But no Moshe is taking it, as the Gemara says not only he takes it, he lives on the, on, on the words of the Pasuk, in his, you know, in his company, it means that all 40 years, Moshe Rabbeinu was schlepping the bones of Yosef in a box. I mean, it's not a big deal. You can take a person bones. I mean, you put them in a box, maybe something like that. He was taking it with him anywhere they went. He was taking the box with him. It was like, why? Of course, he was buried in Shechem. But uh, why? Why? Why doing that? What was the big deal that Moshe Rabbeinu had to do that? And it's very simple. Moshe Rabbeinu knew that Am Yisrael is going to face some difficulties in the journey. He knows who the people are. You don't need to be a prophet to foresee it. You know, we all know Yet, how wonderful the Jews are, but how wonderful the Jews are. And he knew they're going to be a problem. He knew they're going to say, well, we want to go to Mitzrayim, take us back, why don't you bring us here, blah, 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 blah. And every time they said, well, take us to Mitzrayim, he probably took the, bo- the box of your services. Remember? Remember? What happened in Mitzrayim? The only time it was good in Mitzrayim was because of Yosef. And do you know why you went to Mitzrayim? You've forgotten why you went to Mitzrayim. You went to Mitzrayim because of what? Sinat Achim. You can't hate your brother. You should rebuke your brother. But you should not hate him. Hate is a very bad thing to do. So that was a reminder for Bnei Israel all the time to remember what they had gone there and why did they do it for. We also, many times, we forget why we get into certain, or we, let's say for example, we get into a certain situation and we forget why we, we had gotten there and then when we get out of it, we go back right into it because it is a pattern, and we keep on repeating those patterns all the time. We need to sit down and do like an autopsy of what is exactly happening. You know, when you do an autopsy, you check everything. We need to do an autopsy to understand and, and a reevaluation of what have we done that brought us to this state. And then we need to say, okay. Let's fix it so it won't happen again. Because it will happen again. That's why it's very good to get yourself into a good zone, into a good mode. If you see that things don't happen your way, if you see that you do something, you fail. This, you fail. So instead of continuing, just stop. Evaluate. And change. 
because you can stop. Once you stop, every time you stop, there's an option. And then you say, okay, last time I went here, and that's what happened, I'm gonna go this way. And then you change. And that's how you break the pattern. And after you went on the patterns, things start to work your way, you need to make sure to maintain it. It's like the laws of physics. Don't allow other forces to bang into you, to divert you. You need to put railings on the side to prevent obstacles from coming hitting your way. I mean, if you go on a road, yes, it will be a, 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 will be a very boring road, However, let's say you go somewhere, you know, you travel far, you know, somewhere, but there's a lot of deer. And so you got to be careful because a deer would jump all of a sudden to your headlights and you could die. I know somebody who actually went to the hospital that has severe injuries. They live upstate New York from a deer. It's like this mammoth animal. It's a pretty big animal. Combine this with the with your car and the, and the impact, it broke into the windshield and actually injured that person. So you put a railing. Okay, so the deer will jump over the railing. So put walls. Deer cannot jump over the walls. If that's a problem, do it on such a height that the deer will not jump. So the same thing to us. You know that it might have obstacles coming your way. Meteors of... of, of of celestial damage will coming into your way. So prevent it, create a net. And the more momentum you would pick, the more difficult it will be to divert you, to take you out of it. And that's why you need to stick to good habits, develop good habits, develop good habits. Maintain those habits. You need to check your pulse all the time. You wanna make sure that you are okay. You're not slowly, slowly shifting into one side. You've got to put your autopilot that all the time checks. And it checks with the GPS where you're going. And it checks the high altitude and, the, and, and, and on and on and on and on. I don't need to tell you. You can look at it yourself. But that's what we need to do. We got into this problem of Egypt. Okay, so we got into this problem. Okay, fine. We got into this problem. It happens. It happens. Fine. How that we are going to go out? How are we going to make sure not to do this again? Moshe Rabbeinu understood, said, okay, I'll just give him a reminder. I'll take a picture. I'll take a picture. I'll take the bones of Yosef. I'll show them all the time so they won't do it again. If it was a reminder, if you want a reminder for the Jews, about, about what things are and how Europe is, maybe in the Knesset they should put a picture of Adolf Hitler so they should remember why they're here all the time to serve as a reminder. Maybe they should put some pictures of some, of some, uh, of some, some kids who were butchered by the Palestinians so they'll know who they're talking about. You have to have a reminder not to fall into this mistake again because you forget. And it's the same thing like you go into a box, into a ring box, you know, with a guy. You know, a good fighter, if you are stronger than him, will simply make you fall asleep at the job. He would, he would go like this. He would keep on punching you with this, and this, slowly, slowly. And you're going to block it. It's going to go like this. It's going to go one time, 20 times, 100 times. So automatically... You're going to think that that's the only way he could attack. And then you deliver him a left hook punch and you knock him out. That's exactly what happens to us all the time. Comes the Yetzirah, comes the pattern again and it puts us to sleep. Puts us to sleep and then, bang, he takes us out. And we fall again into this. And every time we fall, it hurts. Because the first time you fall, so you fall on the floor, okay, you have a little bit of black and blues. But if you keep on falling on the same thing, it becomes painful. And every time you fall, you fall harder and harder and your body cannot take it. And you get weak until finally you fall apart. And that's the 50th gate of impurity of, of Tumah. 
And that's what we need to do. You need to check all the time to keep your checks and, 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 and balances, to make sure your boundaries are fortified, to be innovative and creative in your daily behavior. Don't fall into the danger of a routine. Check it all the time. Guards all the time. Conduct your life like a general. Don't fall asleep. You do that, you have a chance to make it. You don't, you're guaranteed to fail. Shabbat shalom.